Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of July general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Can't Take My Eyes Off of You by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Now, I did not get his, and I, I, I didn't get a chance to look all that up. So if you know Frankie or any of the band members, okay, of the Four Seasons, if you know any of their Zodiac signs, go ahead and put it out here in the description box below. Um, thank you in advance. But I, you know what? I'm also feeling like it wasn't meant for me to look it up, and I'm going to tell you why. The name of the group is the Four Seasons, right? And immediately when I think about the Four Seasons, it makes me think about the Four Corners when you have the World Card and also the Wheel of Fortune. And in those Four Corners are the fixed signs that are also associated with the seasons as well. So I'm getting specifically fixed signs, which you are a part of. So you have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. We are currently in Leo season, so something very significant could play out in Leo season. Also, like the song, Can't Take My Eyes Off You, I feel like either someone is like kind of cyber stalking or checking up on you. We are in Venus retrograde, so don't be surprised. Or someone is just like feeling like they would choose you in any day, any season, any time of the year, they always would choose you. Like they they always see you as beautiful, enigmatic. They, they don't choose anyone other than you. That's what I'm getting. And I, I feel that very strongly. I definitely feel like if you are single, some of you guys are going to be meeting somebody in Leo season or you are going to meet a Leo. Very strongly, I'm getting that message. I've been getting that a lot. Even in personal readings, a lot of Scorpio and Leo combinations. Again, you both are fixed signs, so a lot of your core values may, you know, be attractive to each other. So let's see what we get for you guys today for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But again, if you know the Zodiac signs of any of those um, members in that band and group, Go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the death card. We'll get the card that comes before, the card that comes after, and then clarifiers for both. Currently at the bottom of the deck, the hangman. This person is stuck on you. They are stuck on you. Pisces, Aries, Aquarius energy for me right here. Hangman stuck in limbo. That's a major arcana, so that's a definite energy. Again, I feel like no matter what the season, they are like... No amount of time, this always gives me the inner workings. These nuts and bolts give me the inner workings of a clock. No matter the amount of time, this person will stick with you regardless of whatever. Or they've never been able to move on from you. They're still stuck and bound to you. One way or another, energetically. You got some a lot of you guys have some strong energetic cords with someone, and it's because you had multiple past lives with this individual. Whether you resonate with that or not, I'm telling you, that's what I'm seeing here. Because to you guys looking at this, it's just chains. I'm seeing these chains are glowing. And it looks like umbilical cords, like attached. And if you think about umbilical cords, that's the mother to child is life. So for some of you guys, you could have been um, mother and child in past lives. But it's just like this attachment and this connection is so strong. Very strong, this connection between you and this person. And they found their way back to you. They always found their way back to you. Hermit is seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. Hermit is also Virgo, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Oh, yeah, there definitely could be a Virgo. If you're single, you can also be meeting someone in Virgo season as well. You got the Nine of Pentacles. You can meet someone in September during Virgo season. Getting that as well. This could be your divine counterpart. You got the Emperor. For every Emperor, there's an Empress, vice versa, same sex, whatever resonates with you. Aries energy. So let's go ahead and find your major arcana. You have somebody left you high and dry in the cold. Coming back trying to work on it, Eight of Pentacles. Again, we're in Venus retrograde, so don't be surprised about people trying to reach out again because that's what it's all about with that retrograde energy. And Venus is love, beauty, health, finance. So, yeah, don't be surprised. And that retrograde wraps up, Venus retrograde wraps up September 3rd. So, we got a nice period of time in, you know, dealing with that energy. Okay? Wow. So, right in front of you, you have the magician, Virgo again. Strong Virgo energy. Virgo, Gemini, manifesting something. There's your energy, and then you have Major Arcana, the Star card, Wish Fulfillment and Healing. You have nothing but Majors, and then the King of Cups. Okay, somebody may have come back into your life in Cancer season, which literally just wrapped up. 
or this person is like really soft over you. And I, I'm not saying it in a bad way. That's just how I talk. That's my linguistics, okay? But if you notice, this person is in their feelings very deep about you. And remember, I said the name of the song is Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. He's looking directly at us. So you that look, he's even looking directly at us. She is turned, her body is turned in a certain direction, but she's looking at us too. She almost kind of look a little creepy. Look at them eyes. She almost look a little creepy. So it's kind of giving me the vibe like somebody may be keeping tabs on you. Could be a Gemini, Virgo, or an Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Cancer. If it's a Cancer, they could be a July Cancer with the Seven of Cups behind there. Whatever the, ca whatever the case, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting with the magician that's wanting to manifest something, a wish come true. Either you want to manifest someone back into your life or someone wants to manifest you into their life back into their life where somebody just wants to like could be praying meditating like asking the universe like where is my person and their wish is about to be fulfilled whatever the case it looks like this is some positive manifestation I don't, i'm not getting anything negative from it bottom of the deck eight of cups walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling you are cups so you may have walked away from this person in the past and this person wants to manifest you back some of you guys could be hearing from this person within the next three days to three weeks i know that's a very could be kind of a vague time frame, but I am getting that. You got the Ten of Pentacles building, establishing something. Um, someone wants long term. I also, I'm going to say again, someone from the past. You see how he's watching this couple here. There's one, two, three, and I was just talking about that three. Three Pentacles here. There's an upside down home there. So someone wants to manifest their family back. That's someone's hope and wish here. You get that... There was a, possibly a recent separation. But this person coming back to claim what's theirs in Leo season. For a damn show. Sure. Wow, okay. This person means business about manifesting either you or them. Bottom of the deck, they do not want you to walk away. And for some of you all, you may have thought about walking away, but you may change your mind. Because again, Star Card, which film and healing, you may want to heal this situation. For some of you all, you would know if this applies. Again, for others, it doesn't have to be manifesting something from the past. This could be like manifesting something new. Let's get a clarifier for the magician. Clarifier for the magician for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Clarifier for the magician, okay? Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. But once he gets his destination, he is bringing something of value. So, yeah, there's a manifestation in progress. I'm saying in progress because I feel like Something's not going to play out into Virgo season. You know, because you got Virgo here, and this could be Virgo also. You could also be trying to move something forward with a Virgo. Water and Earth are very compatible, so that would make sense as well. So, someone has strong Virgo in their chart. You got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the opposite of fortune is misfortune or unfortunately. So, unfortunately, there, it's like things are moving slower than someone wants it to, but it does look like there's going to be a positive outcome. Because you have a major arcana, you know, that's your main energy. Nothing trumps a major arcana, not even another major arcana. So, like, some type of wish fulfillment is going to come out of that. Let's get clarified for the star card. Clarified for the star card, okay. Tower in reverse, yep. You got another major arcana. So, a right, the tower, something is coming to a crashing halt. Something is coming to an end. Something is coming tumbling down. In reverse, if there was an ending... Somebody wants to heal it. I'm telling you. Somebody wants to heal this situation. They don't want this to be over. They don't want it to be done. This is your energy, Scorpio Aries. So it could be you feeling like, I don't want this to be done. I don't want this to be over. I want to manifest my family back. Because it's like a family falling apart. They're going to be ending in Aries season. Aries season is March, April time frame. Yeah, it's, it's like a reconciliation. Somebody wants the reconciliation here. Oh, yeah. They're saying, like, we want to heal the situation. And it's only a matter of time before the situation does heal. Sagittarius energy here with the temperance. It's like the universe is working behind a scene in your favor. It's what I'm getting, Scorpio. So if there's a union you want to come back together, it's manifesting. There's going to be healing. There's going to be a working towards bringing this family structure back together. Also, if you don't want someone from your past, it looks like you're manifesting in somebody new. This is going to be exactly what you wanted. And this isn't going to be something that's built on a faulty foundation. This is going to be something solid. And that's why it took so long for this person to come into your life. They don't want to bring BS into your life. They want to bring balance. This is exactly what the universe is trying to offer you or will be offering you. Because again, I'm going to say, you definitely have two cards. First of all, you have five cards here. One, two, three, four are major arcanas. So this is going to be a big thing for you guys. 
And it looks like if, if you've been single for a while and it's taken so long, it's because they had to help you heal from some type of chaos from the past. Because that's healing also. That's healing also. You know, they want you to heal first before they brought whatever it was that you want to manifest into your life. That's exactly what I got here. Okay. So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.